with Hall of Famer jockey Mike Smith. And this is a, I mean, what a joy to be able to talk to you the day before. This place is going to be crazy. Looking forward to it, man. I can say this is kind of home for me, so it's kind of a homecoming as well. So I usually I have some pretty good friends and fans around here, so I'm excited about the the opportunity and especially being back in New York as well. Are you betting on this guy? <laughs> I am. I love the opportunity. Uh, now there's all this talk about has your horse raced too much, too little? How do you feel about your horse? Well, he's certainly lightly raised. I mean, for him to accomplish what he's been able to accomplish uh, with such a short amount of time, uh, you know, a lot of credit goes to Bob Baffert, the trainer, and, and his whole crew that's worked with him. But he's just a phenomenal horse. He really is. I mean, he's, he's a bit of an old soul. He's got a great mind to go along with all that talent, and uh, that's what keeps him moving forward and, and yeah. being able to handle all this. You're a Hall of Fame jockey, and I think a lot of people think you just get to a place like this overnight lucky because you got this horse but you've been on a lot of horses how do you get to a point like this you know just a lot of hard work I, I, you know, i'm very blessed to do what i love as well you know when, you, when you're doing a job that you you, you truly love uh, it doesn't seem like work man and you just keep you just keep getting better at it and and, and you just you, you enjoy doing it because you love it so much so you're able to, to kind of reach places you never really dreamed of reaching this it's been an incredible career and i'm just uh at this stage in my life right now to be get this kind of an opportunity late late in my career you know I'm towards the back end and uh makes it even more special you look pretty damn good for 52 man I gotta <laughs> tell you because we always talk uh, about health and fitness dude you look phenomenal uh, I'm hanging in there is Thank there you. any body fat going on here there's probably a little bit there was a time there probably wasn't much there's a little bit more now but all in all you know I, I one thing I did do at a young age you know was to get into physical fitness and make it a way of life so every day I do a little something, man. I'm always training. I got personal trainers, and uh, I think it's paid, paying off in my later years. So you spent some money on yourself. I invest in myself. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm the one that's working, and then instead of blowing it on other things, I, I invest in my in the product. You know, and that that's me. So and it, it's it's paid off, and and so far so good. You've ridden a lot of horses to be a Hall of Fame jockey. What's different about Justify? Is there something special about this horse that's way different than any other horse maybe you've rode? Well, the blessed ones are, are just, they're just different, you know, and in, in every sport you see it. You know, there's just this athlete that stands out, and he's just one of those athletes that has that it factor, and no one ever seems to know exactly what the it factor is, but it's an abundance of talent, uh, it's mechanics, and then on top of it, it it's his, his mind. He's a very intelligent horse for, for such a young horse. Uh, you can tell that he's, he's thinking at all times. He's a bit of an old soul, man. He acts like he's done this, uh, you know, for years, and he really enjoys it. He seems to enjoy it. He never gets upset about things, which you know, you'll, you'll notice a lot of other three-year-olds, you know, with all the, the, the tension and all the people and all the noise, they, they get pretty uptight. Man, he just seems to really so This moment, 100,000, yeah, the noise, no biggie. Is there such it's all thing as a big race? Or is this just like any other race, the way you approach oh, it? No, 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 this is a big race. Uh, Belmont's always a big race. Now, we're blessed to be at a Approaching it with did you ever chip, think you're going to be in this kind crown. of moment, though? Honestly, like, I mean, you've been well, around a while. Like, did you think you're going to be in a moment like this? I've, I've always dreamt, dreamt of it. You know, you never know if you're going to get that opportunity or not. And again, getting it so late in my career even, even makes it more special. You know? Are you a collector? Will sure. you collect anything? Have you been collecting? Oh yeah, no, I always have memorabilia. I've always had all uh, fans or just horses or all just all kinds sports. Of stuff. Who's all your kinds favorite? Of sports. Uh, Who's your idol? Who, who's your idol growing up? Non. Horse related. My grandparents. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're a huge influence in my life. Uh, were before they pass and always will be. How so? Give me, give me one of uh, those just, mantras from your grandmother. Just, uh, who I am is because of them. Is there just a lesson you learned yeah. from your grandmother, or grandfather? You know, uh, thousands of them. Give would, me one good one. There's nothing like a lesson from a mom uh, or a dad. Everything in moderation. My grandmother used to always say, and and always thank the Lord above. Is this moment? Destiny? Do you believe in divine intervention? I truly meant to. Be, if it's meant to be, it will. You know, if it's, it's, it's my divine intervention or not, uh, we don't know until it happens. But uh, yes, I do believe in it. I'm hoping to put together a whole line of Hall of Fame jockeys and, and make make horse racing a collectible. I, I think would. there's a big fan base out there. You like that idea? I love it. Absolutely love it. There's a lot of guys. What I love about guys like you is like you're working 365 days a year. People just come out for this big race. <laughs> yeah, we never stop. Right? In horse racing, we don't stop. We go year round. You gonna race today? Oh yeah, I got three. three do you love, yeah. do you love racing horses more than you love being a jockey? I love horses more than I love anything. 
Well, you do. I shouldn't say anything. There's other yeah. things I do, but I mean, horses are my, far, my passion. Your passion. I mean, yeah. you love your wife, your kids, oh, yeah. your family. Yeah. Um, is your wife family going to be here? Well, my my fiance will be here. My mother's going to be here. And I, my brother, aunts and uncles. Man, I got a lot of family coming in. So it's a big moment. It's huge. It's huge. Okay. I got 26 of them coming in. Last thing, <laughs> 26 people coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, I, I have to know this because it's a big deal for uh -huh. me. Tell me your routine tomorrow, what that's going to be, so I can kind of feel you tomorrow as my day progresses. I will be here to celebrate, but what's your day like tomorrow? Are you getting extra sleep, the same? Uh, and what are you eating? You're going to work out in the morning, what? I'll, I'll get and go to bed early tonight, uh, get up like this every other day. I might do a little cardio in the morning early on. Uh, come to races, I'll be pretty busy tomorrow. I actually ride uh, three or four before uh, before the big ones. So You're riding three races yeah, tomorrow. So I'll be I'll be busy. You know, it's just it's just a normal routine. The only thing you, it's magnified times a, a, a thousand, man. It's are you going in a little light tomorrow? Are you going to eat really light? I'm going to eat you? well tonight. I, I can eat well. It's heavy weight tomorrow, so they're all in heavy. So I get get the opportunity to really have a good dinner tonight. What's your favorite food that you don't? Normally eat. I I'm want to a, make sure I eat something like that tomorrow. Well, I'm a steak and potatoes guy, being that I'm from New Mexico and Texas area, but I love good Italian as well. All right. Well, good luck, my friend. Thank and we're, you. we, first of all, we really appreciate the relationship. Thank you, thank you. We hope to have a success with you I and have so some well. fun. For everybody out there, Mike you guys, Smith, you know where to place your bets? <laughs> Bet on my I'm man right here. Phenomenal. Thank you for being with thank us today. You. Thanks appreciate for having it. me on, man.